So then I move around, I go to the construction where the unions and the trades is the future of transportation in America. Ain't nobody black in the room but me. Oh. The only grassroots organizer up in there the whole four days was a brother named Rita Fellas. So I said, man, this is deep. So then I said, let me get past that because I'm only here for one thing, is to steal all this information for the convention that we have on the 14th and 15th. So we got legislation to free our people. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm here, I got 12 but garbage bags and stuff walking out. I'm sure they got me on video tape like you people at the convention. So I get all the information to help us free. So I, I've been blessed to get the the the, 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 the legislative black caucus was here last summer. I got all their information. Then I got the multicultural information today. Mm. And we got Obama. We'll come out of convention with something that's divided in order to save us on paper if we don't ever do nothing. Mm. That's confirmed. Mm. Now, the other part is, so I begin to go on the culture, right? Because I'm in tourism with the African American Harris Museum and Black Veterans Archive 30 years. I said, sister, how many, did y'all go in any black places while you was here? Oh yeah, we went to the Soul Food Restaurant. We went to Pearl's Place. How many of y'all? Six of us, brother, that's a, uh, he's a sick man, he took us out. I said, well, yeah, that's a soul food, but, but, but that ain't tourism, baby. That's y'all when they ate soul food. Came on back home. So let me get this straight. So the Congress, the Legislative Caucus African Americans here, y'all did nothing black? And you five blocks walking distance from the historical Bronzeville district? And y'all didn't go down there? No, we didn't make it. So I asked Brother John the other night. Did, did, did y'all tie into the tourism? So what we have is a disconnect, a series that- And that, we were disconnected that, by the way. No, no, but no, 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 This is what I just found out. <laughs> Brother Johnny Trotter, Trotter is a friend of Harold. Lucas, if that's true or not, I don't know, but they say they ain't friends, they go back. How can he be the keynote speaker and over the caucus chair one of the major players. He speak down there and don't tell them they should be down here in this room with wine and cheese this with Harold stimulating the package. So now at the end of the day, them people came down. Now I just said the black people, because you know white people like our history more than black people. Anyway, that's a whole nother conversation on money that they would have <laughs> came down. Everybody could have walked down here. So I say that to say, one of the things we're dying from that I found out, and I'm gonna close, there was 34,000 people from 18 to 60 at Jackson Park a month ago, 34,000 black people and nobody had a voter registration table, nowhere, 34,000. The week after that they had 2,500 people at the step that says Stepping in White at Tenley Park. That mean they were crazy anyway, it was at the crazy house. <laughs> then the following week we have 2,000 people at Chicago stayed in line for a transportation job at 1230 in the morning and not voter registration nowhere outside trying to get nobody registered. They got five IDs, six birth certificates, and immigration license in one spot. Okay. Night before last, they had another 1,000 people over 87th Street for a steppers thing, stepping the largest step in the world over there with no voter registration outside. We are having some serious problems here, family. It gets back to the convention, why it's needed on the ground. So with all that, getting ready for Obama to run, how do you have 34,000 black people from the raise to vote, to the, from the cradle to the grave, and not one voter's registration, not one Obama team, 1220, out there looking at people that need to be arrested, and put 2,000 black people eligible to vote with B, with, with B, A, Z, A, and Z, A, and no A, sitting out there since 12 o'clock and no 2012 Obama nowhere, and the NAACP, the Urban League, United Negroes in college having fun, and the rest of these niggas not registering nobody to vote, talking about they got a voter registration, and we got a black president for the run. And then you have a caucus that's here from every major city to get lined up with the president of the United States in Chicago, and ain't nobody from the community there in the room on behalf of the people. It's time for 2012 Black Agenda Black People, that's all. <laughs>